Today we will discuss about how are we going to consolidate our table in Power BI. So this is a sample report. On the middle we have a matrix table and on the right we have a regular table. So on the left is what we are trying to achieve. We are trying to group all the information in a single row by region. So as you can look on the leftmost table, we have the businesses and country grouped together in a single line and then for each country is a new line followed by the group and the entire information is encompassed by region so for each region you have it is encompassed in just one a single row so how are we going to do this in power bi so these are the information we will be working with so let's open our power query and look at how our data looks like so there are four rows over here so how to to understand the data over here we have region country region and then in each region there are different business group which reside in this country and what are they doing what type of business or market segment they are tackling is in this column over here so first of all we like to group the business group uh, the business or market together market segment together we go to transform group by so because since there are three column correspond to grouping that we are trying to achieve over here we will click on advanced group and then our country over here we want to group the business by these three columns and then we will call it business so these are text field for this column and it doesn't it doesn't have any uh, function over here to combine our text so we will just use some instead and then we will click on business so it will definitely give error so we will modify it because power bi doesn't cover all the interface for the power query coding so we just use text combine and then we'll set put a separator space comma space so now you will have all the business grouped together as a single row by the region group and country so now we will try to combine the country and business together by doing a merge column so we click this blue column and then we click merge column we like the separators with the dash dash and then we merge together so this is the merge column looks like so we would like to group this merge information again for example some uh, group might have various country for example middle east downstream have a few country over here so we will try to group all this merge information together again so how do we do it we similarly we just go to transform group by so this time around we have two columns so anything more than one column we will just click on advance so now we have two columns same thing let's call it business use some so now every country will be merged so as stated earlier we need to modify the group so we use text combine so we want each country to be a new line so we just key in hash and then open bracket line fit lf and then close bracket so we have the information over here so each country will have become a new line of information so what about if we would like to have a dot over here on the left side as you can see we have a dot over here you can do it so we will add one sign we will just open excel we will add a symbol dot over here you just copy this dot and then paste it over here so we have a dot over here so what about the first uh, country so we just need to add that also to our first country let's combine it so there we have it 
So for the group over here, for example, project delivery and technology, we always have country information because it com encompasses this group. It doesn't go to any market. It itself is a group that reside in the country. So we don't want the dash. We want to combine all the country together just for this group. So how do we do it? We just add column, custom column. So let's call it custom. So if our group is equals to the project, project delivery and technology, what are we going to do with that? If it is that, then we'll combine all the information. So to do that, we will just text, we will just remove. The dash over there. This column we will remove. The dash, and we will remove the line break that we already created. Also, open bracket. So close it. Close it. Else, we just place back the information of that column, which is our business column. Okay. So now, as we can see in our project delivery and technology over here, so it only encompasses the country. So it is in this type of form. So we will be using this column instead. So this one. We can so now we will like the upstream portion, the group in on top of each uh, business in this information, our custom column over here. So we do a merging again. So we merge columns. So we want a new line. So we will just keep in it. LF again. So as you can see, Power BI, uh, for certain character, they will add an extra bracket. We just need to remove this. So now we have the upstream and all the information over here. So now we want to group again. For example, uh, we want to group the entire market by region. We do a grouping again, transform group. Region. So now all the information should be in the column after we modify the M code. We want a new line spaces by new line. Dash open bracket. So now all the information will reside as a single row of information. And then close and apply. So now if we pull in the information that we have, so how does it look like? similar to what we have over here. So this is the finished product that should look something like this. So sometimes you want to free up space uh, for your visualization. You can do this type of uh, merging text combine combination to consolidate all your tables. For example, uh, this table we already done. So we have several type of uh, text com com combination. For example, here we combine it by group. And then for each group, uh, in the two tip over here, business, we put in business, so it will encompass all the business. Yep, that's all.